what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical over here so this is going to be about my thoughts on the trailer that released yesterday for the movie bodies 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 by the time you see this video it would have been released yesterday now this movie is coming out later this year i believe in august it's being directed by i think the name is pronounced helena helena rain is from a screenplay by sarah delapi the story is apparently by Kristen ropinion i'm pretty sure i pronounced a lot of those names wrong it stars pete davidson uh amanda stenberg maria bakalova and a few other people lee pace is another one and it is it had its premiere actually early this year at the south by southwest film festival on march 14th it's coming to us from 824 and you know the movie out of the festival did receive a lot of praise but the movie itself is revolving around a group of rich 20 somethings who plan a hurricane party at a remote family mansion a party game goes awry in this fresh and funky look at backstabbing fake friends and one party gone very very wrong now as you see in the thumbnail or in the video title i haven't decided where i'm going to place it yet yes there is actually a script for this movie that's online that you can read and shout out to the individual who uh has actually sent it over to me you know who you are but if you actually google the script if you just google bodies bodies body script reddit it's right on reddit like it pops up it's on like the subreddit for screenwriting i believe and going through that script I noticed that so far, yes, there's been a lot of rewrites in the sense that most of these character names you will see in that script are not the names you hear in the trailer or see in the actual lineup when you go to the cast and go through the IMDb and go through a lot of the press releases. This script, however, though, is like an early draft from like four years ago at this point. And I will say that off of the trailer alone, I did... I did get enough from it to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to check this out to get a little bit more because the trailer itself didn't completely sell me. The performances are what look like are going to be the strongest aspect of it. I do feel like some bits of dialogue are probably going to be a little bit insufferable to me. But I think for the most part, this movie does have a chance to kind of be one of my guilty pleasures down the road. Maybe it even surpasses what I think I'm going to get by just looking at this trailer. But also to talk about the script even more that is out there. It's like, again, an early draft doesn't mean this is actually how it's going to play out. But the script and going off of this trailer seems like it is pinned by someone who was like kind of doing their best to pinpoint or at least utilize all of these buzzwords that gen z uses because this movie has been coined this generation scream i can tell you that going off of what i've seen in the in the script and how it does do a great job at kind of referencing a lot of things that gen z i would say hones in on or i guess i should say my my generation such as the word toxic and things just being toxic in general you know political stuff uh white privilege the idea that i guess i'll use myself as an example that as a black man i should feel inferior for just being black you know it has a lot of things that i would say this generation obsesses over and then just throws a slasher into the mix but the way it reads in this early draft is very cringy to me only in the sense that the dialogue feels like it is being written in a way by someone who is desperately trying to sound like someone who is younger than them maybe a child of theirs and they ask them hey what do you guys usually talk about or talk like with your friends and then they kind of just exaggerated it here with these characters so i'll see if that kind of is what the final product is like and again if you want to read the script all you have to do is google bodies bodies body script reddit again this is only an early draft of course the killer and their identity is in it the motive is in there i will say that it also really does speak to toxic relationships toxic friendships just a lot of toxic stuff in general which i can understand with some of the things that they cover why they're calling this this generation scream it literally is packaging in a lot of things that i feel like this generation obsesses over and just turns it into a horror movie with a slasher being involved now and just having a lot of characters that i guess you consider maybe self-aware of their surroundings uh and they just seem like a product of their time the way they were written though was what i had a problem with and the way they were written to talk it just was kind of cringy to read from what i read but overall the trailer itself though looked way better than what the script was reading like so i'm i'm guessing there's been a lot of major rewrites because again considering that the character names are also different for the most part from what i recall so i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in the movie and how everything sh everything plays out the overall vibes i got were a little bit of mix of mean girls 
but a slasher movie version of Mean Girls. Uh, there's some other movies I'm sure people are going to compare to. I can't think of them right now off the top of my head, but I was getting Mean Girls vibes. I did kind of feel like I was watching a feature length version of the I Know What You Did Last Summer movie, not movie, but TV series. That might just be because of the fact of where they're at and the accessories I see them wearing in the trailer. Uh, the movie does seem like it will have a good job because it does have reviews out there that you can read over on Letterboxd and just from the South by Southwest premiere that they had. Going off of the trailer and reading, having read some of the reviews earlier when that when they came out, this movie does seem like even if I don't necessarily connect with the characters, that it's still going to be a fun watch. It still might be something that I could recommend to anyone who is a fan of horror. It seems like it's going to be well paced. It's not going to be boring. It's going to have a lot of, I guess, cool twists. It seems like it's going to do a good job at balancing humor with very tense moments and then a lot of emotionally impactful moments. But the overall from reading the script, it seems like this movie is going to have a lot of things in it unless it's been changed that really speak to what i think this generation is obsessed with which in in that with that in mind i see why you would want to call it this generation's scream i can see it but i also would think that the generation of people who grew up with scream would look at this and say you know this is nothing like scream but then i guess that goes back to what they said this is this generation's scream which i would have to say i see what you mean I see what you mean, <laughs> but I also don't think that it was necessary to, of course, say that this is this generation scream. Just let bodies, bodies, bodies stand on its own. Um, my only th biggest fear is that it ends up being like a Black Christmas 2019. I just hope it's not like that. I hope I can walk away from this movie with with many pros. Uh, if I have several cons, at least I can still say, you know what? I like the movie, even if I have many cons with it. The movie itself does look fun. I, I'm intrigued by what I saw in the trailer, and I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Again, if you want to read that script, just Google Bodies, Bodies, Bodies script for Reddit, and it'll pop up. But let me know what you guys thought about the trailer, Bodies, 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 down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.